how do you think? There was a lady that came to my office, and this lady, listen to this woman, real story. She came to my office, she was weeping. And she told my secretary, I have to see Dr. Munro now, or I am going to die. Well, thank God my wife didn't need to see me at the same time, because there would have been a funeral. We get that next week. So I let her come in the office, she sat down, and she just sat on the chair. She said, Dr. Munro, this is it, my life is over. And she began to weep, and I said, what happened? And she said, oh, I got two children, no husband, and I just lost my job, and I have no income, and this is my last paycheck. I don't know what to do. I'm going to die. And she's weeping. And I said to her, why are you crying? She said, you didn't hear what I said. I just lost my job at the hotel. They laid me off and I have no money and I only got two children to feed and rent to pay and light to pay and water to pay. And she's weeping. And I said, my dear, you have no problems. You're thinking wrong. She said, what do you mean? I said, uh, listen, I said, do you have an oven in your house? Yes. How often do you use it? Every Sunday. I said, you have an oven in your house that you paid for with God's money, and you only use it once a week? Yes. I said, so for five, for six days, your oven is dead? Yes. I said, you ain't broke, and you're not poor. You're just not thinking. What do you mean? I said, look. I said, take your last check. First, pay your tithes. What? I said, yeah, pay your tithes. <laughs> I said, protect yourself against heaven's problems. Yeah, okay. I said, now go to the food store with the rest of it. Buy some flour and some raisins and some oats. I said, because I know you. I remember you. You made me some cookies before. You got a gift. Yes. I said, make some cookies with the money. Bake them in your oven and take them back to the hotel where you were fired from. And give free cookies to everybody in the hotel. What? I said, obey me. She said, but this is my last check. I said, don't worry about it right now. Just follow my instructions. I'm giving you an idea. Everybody say idea. So she said, okay, pastor. So she ran home. She baked the cookies, put them in little plastic bags, and took them back to the hotel. She gave some to the manager that laid her off. Free, free cookies. Gave them to all the workers, all the administrators. Everybody had cookies. The next morning, she got phone calls. Any more cookies? She said, yes, I'll make some. And she got orders in one day for 15 dozen cookies. She had to go out and buy more flour. She baked those cookies. Within one month, she was baking 50 dozen cookies a month. One year later, she had a staff of 22 people on a cookie factory. Today, her cookies are in all the big stores in the country. She is a multi-millionaire, and she pays tithes to the church. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen, right there. When she made her first $50,000 U.S., she came to see me. And she was dressed right down in all of her clothes, man. She was a CEO of a company, you know what I mean? A cooking industry. And she said, I just come to tell you, thanks. She said, the best thing that ever happened to me was being fired. <laughs> Today, she's the number one cookie woman in the country. 
driving in a fine car, never sought for money. She never looked for money. She got an idea. And then she gave me an envelope. She says, this is the person who tell you thanks. And when she left, I opened the envelope. Hallelujah. 10,000 US dollars. I said, thank you very much, Lord. And I said, Lord, please give me more cookie women. She was sitting on wealth in her house. It was in an oven she wasn't using. I wonder what's in your house. You are not poor. You need to think. <laughs>